Hi, my name is Ethan with Westlake Pro, and I'm here to show you the brand new Guitar Denoise module in RX-8. This tool helps you clean up your guitar tracks fast by focusing in on the most common problems that appear when recording both electric and acoustic guitars. Taking a look at the interface, the Guitar Denoise module is split into three main sections, Amp, Squeak, and Pick. You can turn each section on or off with this bypass button and use the ear button to hear only the process parts of the signal. This is useful when setting the sensitivity levels for the various processors to make sure you're only processing the sounds that need help while leaving the rest of the signal untouched. The presets can be found in this menu, which are a great starting place for any number of guitar issues that you might want to fix. Now let's take a closer look at each section in Guitar Denoise. The amp section makes quick work of hiss, hum, and buzz from amps and guitar pickups. To get started, select a few seconds of audio with the noise that you want to remove and click the Learn button. For best results, try to pick a section that is only noise. The sensitivity slider determines how much hum or buzz is detected in the signal. Higher settings can impact the guitar tone, so adjust the slider to make sure the processing is limited to the noise itself. The resolution slider determines the number of notch filters applied to the processing. Simple hum from ground loops can be solved with lower values, while more complex hisses and noise can be cleaned up with higher values. The squeak section cleans up string noise from sliding between notes or chords. The sensitivity slider determines what will be recognized as string squeaks, but as before, higher settings can impact the tone. Use this ear button to make sure you're only processing the squeaks. As expected, the reduction slider will determine how much of the squeak gets pulled out. Down here you could see two options for duration. The short option should be good for most squeaks that are less than one second long. But if the squeak isn't fully reduced, try switching it to long mode. The pick section allows you to tame over-aggressive transients from picked or plucked strings. The sensitivity slider determines how the picks or plucks are detected, almost like the threshold on a compressor. Use the reduction slider to dial in the amount of attenuation you want, and use this attack slider to determine how quickly the gain reduction should be applied. Lower values will have a more audible effect on the tone, while higher values will produce a more natural sound. As always, you can preview your processing before you commit to it, or compare different settings. Once you're satisfied with your settings, just make a selection and hit Render to commit your processing. If you want to clean up guitar tracks right in your session, you can pull up Guitar Denoise as a mono or stereo insert in just about every DAW, and it's also available as an audio suite plugin in Pro Tools. Guitar Denoise is great because it's fast, focused, and fine-tuned to a specific task. I love that you can turn off any processing that you don't need, and it saves you from having to create a complex chain of various modules to fix the same problems. Well, that about covers it for the Guitar Denoise module, which is available in Isotope RX-8 Standard and Advanced, which you can get at westlakepro.com or by clicking the link in the description. If you have any questions on this or any other module in RX, leave us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe or ring the bell 
to see all of our latest tutorials, exclusive interviews, studio walkthroughs, and more. Once again, I'm Ethan with Westlake Pro, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.